Hey, what's going on, guys? James here, and welcome back to more Mode GP 2015 Queer Mode for part number. Um, let me just do the math calculation 7, 4, 7, 10. No, um, no, uh, let me just do the, um, Sorry, guys, I'm just doing the calculations in my head though. Um, 5, 8, 11, 14, 20, 17, 20, 20, 23, 26, 29. I think this is part 33 that says thing guy because part 32 we did previously was the Indianapolis Grand Prix video that we just did where we managed to, to take our third successful career win in the Moto3 Championship we managed to achieve there guys so I'm very much my team then but right then so we took our third team with this uh, Garcia team then so very much then so we didn't play well in the Moto3 then so clearly much then so yeah, if you haven't seen the previous video, you have seen the guys. We have won the Indianapolis Grand Prix we managed to win then guys. That we managed to beat out Dike and Fabi Cotterell and make our third to the Grand Prix victory then. And with that we took ourselves our third consecutive win in our uh, Moto3 career mode, Moto3 career mode championship so far then. So after that win though in, Indi in Indiana, in Indianapolis then, we moved up straight up into third play in the dry, in the widest championship standing so far, Dan. As we have a look at the championship, Dan. Yeah, we're up into, we're currently up into third play, but currently in the race still, it's Danny Tep Kent with 217 points. With Fabio Quattrall and my widest team and my rival, Dan, trying to beat him, Dan, he's in second play. Well, meanwhile, we move ahead of Big Guy and Fairwood to move up to third. Evan Vasquez in fifth, Isaac Finn in sixth, there's Hoya now via seven, Brad Pitt in eighth, there's Kyle Hank in ninth. Any Bastonier is one of the top 10 with 83 points then. Here's the rest of those. And we got two-time champion of MoGP. Pacheco Pekka Bagga has scored any points just yet. Or has it not Jorge Martin because he's now the champion leader then in the 24 championship then. Because it has been three months since I've done the last the last video of MotoGP video of the Indianapolis Grand Prix Way where we did the warm-up at the end of the race. It was an incredible great race it was around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway circuit then where I managed to take the top spot with Daly Kev claiming second place and I think the five podium percent went to I think Miguel Ferro or Fabio Cotterola because I think it was Fabio Cotterola my wider teammate that who closed the final spot on the podium then but yeah. But anyway, let's have a weird word with my teammate from Santiago Fargas. Hi James, now that you are part of the team, your principal opponents on the track are your teammates. Two, when two wild use the same bike, the only thing separating them is their riding ability. Making the chance even tougher it, at the very beginning of every week's weekend, I suggest which teammate you should be concentrated on. I'm sure that if you manage to beat them, your team fans will start rooting you. Yeah, since I'm two, number two rider then, since Fabio Cruz is going higher than me. So anyway, Dan. He had a good, very good achievements that he had successful in the previous race, like in Spain and in France and in Italy and Mugia as well. But hopefully, we can help him make up then in the next GP that we'll be going to then, guys, which is in Berno that we're going to then, guys. Because that's why right there, we're off to Czech Republic, or they pronounce the quote Czechia then in Czech Republic. So it's Czechia we're going to then, but I just, I just wanted to comment down, uh, I'll let you guys. To cover double or what sort of name this got GP the Czech E Grand Prix or the Czech Republic Grand Prix for most GP then so it's a free promoter where he's tracked down around the auto draw during a burn circuit then so we're off to that circuit then for round number 11 of the Moto 3 Championship then so I'm looking forward to that then and then after that it will be my home race venue Silverstone circuit for F1 then, for the British Grand Prix then yeah can't wait to see that circuit very, very much sooner than that later on then. But anyway, then. So, looks like we're going to get everything prepared up for the grand next race then. The next GP in Czech Republic. So, um, we're going to go straight into practice session then and see if we can upgrade, to, uh, upgrade our car, our, our bike, I mean then. Because we're using bike then, not cars. Hope we try to increase our tactics and status and hope it doesn't turn it in. And hopefully how well we do around this Bernal so circuit in Czech Republic in Czech here. So without further ado then, so let's see how well we do we well were around this well into in the woodlands of Czech Republic around this circuit then. And let's see how well we would prove us. So let's head straight now then to Berno for round eleven then. So leaving leaving the Americas on our way to Czechia then. 
for the Czech Republic Grand Prix next. Okay, where's the Czech Republic target for his eight position now? And yeah, length 35% then, race season for race weekend, hard difficulty for AI then, but because this is random and type and bike damage as well is heavy, will be prone heavy as well. And take a couple of AI and play as well then. Okay, good. Okay, without well, further ado then, let's get straight into the race then. Let's get prepared myself for the Czech Republic practice session here in for Motor 3. All right then, heading toward the Grand Prix Czech Republic, which is Czech Republic, they call it then. So, here we are in Czechia for the Czech Republic Grand Prix for round 11 of the MotoGP World Championship. So, that's how we'll, we'll do around this circuit then. So, it's a good fantasy circuit there, but I don't know what the capital city of Czech Republic or Czechia is. But anyway, I'll soon find out on the Wikipedia page then because Czech has been around since it was formed, I think, around about the 1920s, I think. But it's a very good thing it is there. Over 100 years that country has been there. And it's a good country to visit there, even though Germany invaded that country in 1938, like just took part of it then. Popular with both fans and riders, the Bursa is built in a natural bow which offers separators and excellent view. The track consists of the changes the innovative and is sweep across for us to size sister and it's fast. Gary Edit, is he still the commentator in the most GP Championship mode 2 mode 3? I'm not quite sure. Air temperature is 29 degrees, track temperature is 33 degrees Celsius it is. So, God, copy that. 1.1 MPH, north. Thank you very much though. As we now going to get ready to get into this then for the Czech Republic practice sets of death. As the weather forecast is currently cloudy, then with no spots chance of rain coming down then. Not a lot of damp spots of rain coming down, the like torrential way or damp patches of it then around the circuit. But let's have a look at the ways, look at look at the sets of information, a look at the weekend sort of then we've got for the weather then. It's cloudy on practice. Clear and dry and sunny on qualifying, and it will be clear for the Royal Rebel and the Racing Service. It will be a clear dry weather, but it's cloudy at the moment then for the for practice only, Dan. So it will be a fine, clear way it will be, Dan. So looks like we will get ready. Hope the Royal Rebel will appreciate it to join the nice warm web for some hot days on the bikes that are on circuit, Dan. Barry, first of the riders already gone out, Dan. I think it might be one of my riders, then going out, then So. As we still got this helmet that we still got there. I could have changed it, Joe, but anyway, could keep it like that though until maybe for the next race, I might change it to a blue helmet then. But anyway, so if we can see which of my wide this probably caught to stay in the pits there as well as Holy Navy. But he's getting up, then he's going to go out then, so I'm going to be coming out with him there as well. So I'm going to go head straight out then right now then and join Holy Navy on a circuit then. Let's see how well we would we, we do that our bikes then. Um, probably might do a four or five laps around that circuit then. So let's hopefully prepare ourselves to boost our uh, bike then up to the web maximum power. And let's head straight out there into the Bowwood Forest of the hillside top Czech Republic as we head on track then. Uh, so it's just took some time then for us to get to set to drive down to the pit lane or wide down to the pit lane exit then and coming out on the circuit right now then. Look at this circuit this is then guys, because this is where we first begin our career then as a test mode then for pre season yep. But we're here this circuit again then, we're calling it uh, right behind the bus, it's Bram Binder in the KTM bike then. He will be still racing with this team though in 2025 then, even though he's racing with this in the most GP now category. I'm hoping to sort of get the other most GP season categories I want to try and get the years I want to try and get then, like 2018, 2022. Or maybe 23 or 23 and we want to get there. So I'm going to hopefully try and order that on Amazon or maybe find it in a game store there, or maybe in CEX. Sex. <laughs> Think so. Anyway, we're going to break Harley down through the going, near, going to hit the Apexes curbs and dash down to here though. This is amazing though. Look at this. What this layout is usually pronounced for me over the. Over the years, though, around the circuit, though. But since his last race in Trade Train, Mochi Bid never goes, never returns to this circuit ever again after Trade Train because it's off the calendar after the end of the Trade Train season, then. And I'm afraid 
We may not be seeing it on the calendar in the future for good, rather than unless they want to put it as a grade two trial, hoping to get a replacement of it if there's any of the current races that are currently going to be on the calendar next season then be cancelled then well only time for tell for that for this thing guys if we go down here then we're going straight up here with the, into the left and right tight to canes then <clears throat> spin of sausage curves there on that left 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 corner turn there for the first sector, then the final sector of the actually there's four sectors in total then around this neat circuit then what most GP bikes use then and what this format system they use then the systematic format they use then in the most GP categories then so we round ourselves to the far corner then and then pull ourselves down towards the top first straight away then and across the line to begin our first lap then in practice and let's see how well we do. So we go flat up the trailway then into a long right hand turn. We're coming up to like 180 degrees, it is then. So, yeah, fully anti right hand corner. And then it's a, just a small kink to the left then. As we go up through into the trees, into the forest. Though. Look how many trees there are. And look at the hills there. But like small hump mountains that look like then. As we're coming down into number three. Oh no, I got that timely wrong there, guys. We've gone. Might cut the track a little bit there, but no penalty for that day. Eh? If we've gone well in the fence of the dance, so let's just keep our eyes focused. Though. Let's just keep my hands focused on the track there and wide the curbs a little bit there. And following the racing line are what the Mudgy bike usually do there as we come down into this down here, um, like section there, sector two then. If we come through here, and it's a left hand, I think it's like a 110 degree left hand corner turn. And then it's just a straight away then. Luca Mola, yeah. That I see that now in Formula One now. I think they use that logo now in Formula One as well then. So nice to hear the Tissot. I'm not quite heard about it. Mazda LT, that's for Momo GP, not for Formula One. The time to nice about the energy tree company that Mazda Energy. As we break ourselves firmly down into this down here right hand corner. As we hopefully try to Press our about to get a lot more acceleration then into our bike then as we see ourselves up ahead by the bender who's doing his lap then and right ahead of him it's my teammate or is it my or is it my wife for it or, or actually it's someone else I think because the fabric of my teammates is highlighted in an orange circle I don't yell so I mean then guys so, so I think it's someone else then as we're coming around the back that's actually um is it and the, is that Bastinier? It's any Bastinier up ahead then, guys. The Ducati rider then, from OGP then, who's just by Batman. Both of us doing MotoGP. As we go third quiz with a time of 2 minutes, 8.579 on that first lap around the second then. So, not too sad there. As Brad Bay gets ahead of any Bastinier, even though they're not fighting for precision. It's just only just practice then. So, love to see the racing each other like they're doing MotoGP nowadays, though. As we come up the hill again then. As how well we do around this and keep it all seven track then with these the one of crowd and the gravel there with our bad protection there as we coming out towards another wider there as we right coming coming to the back of any Bastinini's car I think he's driving for his car or is it Mahindra? I think he's his car I think he is and then we got Matteo Fiore we got Fiore that's good possibly also like Enzo Fiore the founder of his own Formula One team. And Brad Binder, oh, any best of me need trying to get by me, Dan. His number, he's riding his favorite, but he's now using 23. He used that in 2015, Dan, in the Mode 3 Championship, but he's now using the 23 nowadays in Mode GP, Dan. But right there, we go down this, this sort of three-way, Dan King, Dan. And before we go into the left hand cable, we're actually getting close to the back of Brad Binder there, but not Darren Binder there, that's Brad's brother, Dan. We used to be in MotoGP in 2022, but I'm afraid one of the but not capable about riding in MotoGP, I'm afraid to say so then. As we break firmly down into then, oh, he's kind of trying to fight back on me then, Brad Bender. Oh, as we go down here then. Oh, nice great way to really racing action then. We have seen them between me and Brad Bender there. Oh, nearly almost hit that sausage curves there. As we go through the Zikao, to my dad's P4 there, but could I make a Good cut right there. We're going faster. We're going right in the first. I mean, we're going faster. We can go to the top of the timing pages and just press it and check for public grand prix. 
So we come through to the far two corners then we come through there. Round the far corner we come through there. We're going to be a bit deep down through the far corner there. Let's see. The far this time is 2 minutes 8.0. What about us then? Cross where we come through there. 2 minutes 7.346 on that second lap. Then we go quickest. But over 638,000 tenths, tenths clear though of... I think it might be Dan Kennedy's going to second quickest on Fabio Cotuaro there, but right? Up to top spot then, as we can see, Brad Bin is trying to fight with me then, guys. By me, Dan, but not close enough, Dan, as we are now at the top, Dan. But could we help you do some more warm up runs as Brad Bin trying to get back on me then? Just like the same as most GP that you race for, positions do what you do to, to help you get a lot of technique. Sets of races for your bike then. So we plug down into the right hand corner. So sort down here. It's a, oh, and Bambi managed to went into the back of me. Gosh. Almost going to hit me and it forced me to fall on my bike. That was a big brake testing that is from him. Because that's why I was slowing down for this corner there. That's what I was doing there. But Bambi went into the back of me then. He's looked like he's going to like plow into the back of me then with his own bike. I bet his race control still will look into that then, because that was a big, almost going to become a racing incident to me, for, for myself then, and Brad Bender there. But anyway then, as we come down the hill that we come through then, and then through into the downhill right hand curve. Okay, we're not improving though, but we're coming quicker to the moment then, so... Famous left of the session remain then, famous 25 seconds left to go, we could have 10 minutes of this Says an old way then, so up there here we go through there. Oh dear, I'm sliding the car, I mean the bike, a little bit there. Okay, so well, there's not gonna be any time to rain coming down, it's okay for the time being then. I think I'm gonna hopefully plow my way back to the pits then, so I'm gonna do that right now. With very famous left to go there, so I'm gonna go in here and yeah. That, yeah, this is actually the right full spot then, so yeah, to come into pits for here. Anyway, there we go, and we're in. Okay, so looking good first 10 minutes of the practice session already then. We may come in further, but who's going second quickest then? We head back then to hopefully, probably do some good to the jump then. But meanwhile, well, let's see how the other riders are doing then. As Navius do out there, and Fabria too then, so let's have a look who's the session. Let's have a look at the timers then and see who's, who's quickest then. I'm um, clear at the top then. Mikael Alberto's coming in second place then. Then it's Stanley Kane in third. Holly Nafi is in fourth. And my other teammate, Fabio Cotteroy, is in P5. So both my teammates are in fourth and fifth at the moment then. After the first 10 minutes of this session is already done up then. Anyway then. So we'll be able... It looks like our bike is okay. We've got three day pads we've got then so far then. So we haven't used them to do it. We might complete the defense and... We just did. So let's do. Let's complete the breaks then. Let's have two data pads and we'll be fully completed then. There we go. All done. And let's put one to the end as well. I think we'll get like everything though after the Czech Republic Grand Prix. Yeah, this is so smashing it in. It's going to have a better chance for us to win the championship then. But anyway then. So, um, I don't know what to do now. Just sit back and just chill then. Because it's kind of a bit boring though while doing... This though in my GP then. Do you need a hand kit? Ask me anything fit or I'll give you give you the right of fans. Um, um Let's have another look at the buy setup then. Okay, you're the right. Tell me what you notice. Um The bike's feel strain when I open the gas on straight. The, the bike feels straight when I open the, up the gas on straights, okay? What po what possible problem could you have with straights? They're all straight, kid. I'm joking. Tell me everything. I'm in a good mood today. I got some problem with the speed of the bike. Are you saying the bike is going too slowly? No, just the opposite. It's just too fast for my testes as well. Okay, here's what we do. Load the gear ratio. Time is going to take it. It's just about a minute then. Perfect. Go. We do that, that will cost us that far per minute then to change the, the ratio then of our bike then. So, hopefully that will achieve us a bit more less speed then. And hopefully try to go slower through the corners then easily then. <clears throat> As I'm sorry to lose my voice there, guys. 
as we've only got 26 minutes and 10 seconds left on the timer there of this predecessor of the Czech Republic Grand Prix as they can improve his time slightly a bit down but not enough to go ahead to make up there for second place now unfortunately so so he stays second place for the time being now uh, let's have a look at the rest of the field then, as we finalize in said there's Nick Adelaide said at least must be eighth first Chris Knight and Carl Hank in, in the KTM runs of the top 10 there's Brad Bender in P11 Eddie Bassini in 12th, there's Chuck McPhee in P13, Matteo Fiai in 14th, Andrea Locchetti in 15th, Francesco Pekabagi in 16th, Strong Francesco Ch Chesco Granfier in 17th, there's Fenty, Louis, Ono, Adjo, Oetti, Migno, Jakub, Jakub Convelli, Stefan Manzi, Martin, Gardner, Harrier, Tom Cousy, Karakuso, Karaharadwin, Danio, Pera, Darren Binder, and Rodrigo. And it stands on the moment, Dan. Okay? Good. Alright, Dan. As we are got 25 minutes left at this, perhaps there's still yet to come, Dan. So we have 50 minutes of this season. We're not even at half, half distance so far to show this person, Dan. So. Emma, why I have come back to the pits then my teammates then came back to the pits then no, no one just yet then Sorely afterwards then By the way Hope you'll come back to nothing guys By the way then I'm gonna head back on track now and see How well will I probably do Alright I'm just gonna down and see How well will, how the, the bike setup has changed Probably since I talked to my race engineer there about the bike problems though So much about this racetrack there It's such a havoc I mean, half look, not half look. Anyway, then, as we go back on my back again, there, guys, as we're going to go head back on Twitter. If you like this video, then please do a big thumb thumbs up there. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You have the Just say go subscribe to my channel right now, then, guys. And also click the notification bell down below if you're new to my channel, then. So please, I do say go click that notification bell down below as well. As we head out then to the second, then, so let's hope we warm up. Then wrapped up the bike a little bit there as we come through the long right hand at turn one then. Pretty much dicey, dice set, I would say to myself for this then. As uh, this is a very good, 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 far much effort we get into this and so much, say. Eh? <coughs> as we come through, through the left hand Turn at turn number three and then turn four, and then we're gonna go downhill, Dan. So, my turns are flying so much, Dan, as we come down into this steep hill, Dan, as we come through into turn number five and then turn six. Very good circuit to test, Dan. So, very much good technique that we got there, guys. But, anyway, it's looking very good at the moment for the time being, Dan. Great, as we come through into this left hand corner and then it's a right hand kink corner then, well, actually it's our kink then, anyway, as we go back up here then, this is so amazing this is then, I wonder there's some corner names on around this check will probably build a circuit there, but I'm afraid there's just corners then, that's all then, anyway then, as we're doing pretty much well at the moment, then so very much. Because the more far ball with pace you get, then the more work you be can consider then to her, just to hopefully get yourself to the top step on the podium and to win this GP. And I think we're going to go on for a fourth, fourth race win. We're going to hope we look forward to that. And I think compared to a straight win, day in three races, we're going to achieve a number. Purposes and the win as well, then as how well we could do around this below circuit in Czech Republic. Then, so we come down this way, right down and start our uh, our new set of the final up. Then, so let's see how well with this lap would do. Then, so we put it down to turn one. Then, gone a bit wide there as we come in through here and up to here. We come through then, fame. Pretty much fireball progress we gain used to it then guys. Very much fireball down to the effort that we gain into then. As we come through into turn number three and into turn four. 
good. Good, good at the moment for the time being then. Great. As we come in straight away then through then and heading towards the downhill then corner banking then. Actually this is not a banking corner, this is actually just a, just, just a flat out downhill turn 5 this is. And uh, we've gone right, we've gone great in the third, maybe we've not improved our lap time better than the first lap we did. This is our best lap, it was 2 minutes 7.34, so that's what, that's the time we stepped so far then. And uh, we're coming through through the circane then, up the left, the swooping left and right hint corners, apexes then. But I'm afraid not that, so yeah, we actually put like a bit then. A bit more means we're making good progress at the moment for the time being then. As uh, down here going into the right hand corner turn. There we go. And how well we would do then on this lap down as we go back up the hill then. Bit oversteered there on the bike. Not perky there a lot then, so yeah. So good far but progress there is off the tenth slightly a little bit then. So we're 167 tenth down on our Personal best lap time so far in this predecessor, then, guys. Half the time it's gone over halfway through this predecessor, then, of this Chipper Pump and Grubby, this fitting guy, and next time out will be qualifying, then. But right, then, good effort progress at the moment for the time being, then. So, across the line, then, it's a 2 minute 7.41 fill. It's like slightly close there, but only missed about 967 hundred of a second seconds clear there of our best lap time so far. We're very good to be our personal lap, best lap time so far, Dan. That we set so far in, on our second lap, Dan. But we're very close on that third lap attempt, Dan. So good work there. So let's see what this this one will do. <coughs> Can we put on our fourth lap then, attempt, Dan? The second time we're going through turn three and into turn four. 334 attempts down. We're now losing a bit of time there for the first sector there. We were very, very close. Only 67 hundredths of a second down then from our from our personal best lap. Not tense down clear um, and clear of our personal best then or any clear of any rider ahead of us or behind us. But anyway, we're going up to grab one Grivia then. So we need to be careful not to climb the back of the lap bike that like what or like what Brad did to us early then, guys. So yeah. Sad for him, poor, poor Binder. I'm sadly not great to as what he silly has done there. As be a wide deck as we've gone past Grivia there. We've gone way in second, so it means we're improving our times a little bit then. But let's see how this fire centre will hold a uh, much, much a a vulnerable pace there to myself then. See how well I would do for this. Very, very much then. As we are doing pretty well at the moment, then 80 minutes left of this. Practice has still yet to, left to one, means I won't be recording much of it then. Because, oh, we've gone down the fire set, we've put it, we've gone right in the sense that we've gone through, we've lost a bit of time the fire set to Dan. Oh dear, dear grief, Dan, man. Oh no, this is not going to be very good, dear. I wish MotoGP could go, would go to Canada, Dan, as well as the bit of China, uh, the hand raising Korea. And have a waste in which country did they not waste anymore? But certain which they have the waste on, but not anymore then. And I really want to see them waste back in Chile or maybe some other country like Switzerland as well. But wait then, so we come through this long right hand kick then. I'm afraid we've gone down our next lap then, but we didn't manage to check my but person my next lap then. But I'm afraid that current lap was a bit slower than my my best lap of tour then. On lap three, on the previous lap, then the second to the previous lap then, that I have set so far, then. So on the fifth lap, then we're now just 100 tenths down of our current bet, 100 milliseconds now. Okay, let's try to have a bit of that breath top, then. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 please, eh? Hey? As we go through these corners. We're following the race as I can to go. Oh, we're going onto the grass there. We're on, we're going off the track there as. We just cross a fireball amounts of time and we go on the curbs. We go on the curbs there through this left hand corner then. And I think that's we crossed a fireball time. Oh dear grief man. That is not good at all. And yeah, that has cost a fireball amount of time there. We're coming up to Antonelli there, like 
well, now we've got Antonelli in Formula 1. Actually, Kimi Antonelli is going to be coming a Formula 1 Mercedes driver next year then, guys. Yeah, Antonelli. So, but that's not the Antonelli we know, we know to use for. Though. That's actually a different Antonelli because we can't wait to see Antonelli on the F1 grid next year on the uh, on the grid for the 25 F1 season. I can't wait to see him drive alongside George Rose at Mercedes then. So, yeah. Can't wait to go, wish you the best of luck, Antonelli, then. For graduating into Formula 1, then from F2 and the European Regional Championship as well, then. We're down in the final sector, then. I mean, we're not finding any good solitary pace at the moment, then, for the time being. And the confinement, based on the benefit of what the headquarters department said, factory pack, then, is not boosted at all, then. Looks like the setup for my race engineer is not helping me at all, then. The race should no, grip, grip chain has forced me to lose a lot of time, then. I'm afraid we've got a bit slow on that. This lap down, afraid then. So we're gonna. I think we might have to head my way back to the pit. I'm gonna claw my way, 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 way around the second then head and peel my way back to the pits then, guys. So it's been a good session so far for me then, guys. We only got 50 minutes remaining of this part session to go then. So I'm gonna quick as fastest. We're making our face second and they get in third place. That's the top three at the moment for the timing. B, second for uh, the and third for they can. So Hope we'll be quickest at the end of the session, though, guys. So I'm gonna hope we can be good, come the quickest then so far then, as we're gonna prove it a bit then. So in the first session, though, because I'm coming into the pits then, and you know, heading back to the garage then. So I'm gonna head back then and see what's the issue with this. Then. So I'll be right back, then, guys. I'll see you back in the pits. Okay, I'm back in the pits now, guys. So I think that our low gear ratio hasn't helped us. So a bit there, I'm afraid we, I'm afraid we didn't put our lot down. We did go well in the second set to, uh, on, on lot fourth then. So, yeah, that was quite close for us indeed then. No improvements for it. We're going to fail then. Kids lot time. What about how we now feel the public control? Well, they're not even improving the lap times for a bit. Then. I don't know what the hell they're doing then. But could they help improve their laps a little bit then? We're really just 12 minutes after this session remaining of this practice then of the Czech Republic Grand Prix. Well... We're about to find out then, so hopefully we're going to hopefully skip to the end of the session then because it's been a good fight, good one in practice so far. Different for you guys to see different coin this so much then, so yeah, so much well being then, so yeah, doing pretty well at the moment then, so yeah, and it looks like our oh, uh, the bar, look at the level bar is going so high though on what we are achieving so far then with our bikes then. Anyway, then, so no of my riders are. None of my riders are back in the pits. They were in the pits uh, uh, a few moments ago, but they're back in, uh, on track to try to see if they can try and put their lap times there. Let's see any Pumas there. No one yet, though. So, yeah. Quite cl closer than it is. The gap is currently about five seconds, though. We've really currently the slowest of the rest of the pace, though, with the time so slow than me. Like, you can't see their actual lap times than they, they do. Oh, you can see the quickest lap time they set down so much then. Anyway, then, so, looks like there is, um, looks like I'm just going to sit here, then, so, I might hopefully do a few more laps, then, guys, and then I'm going to wrap up the practices and then wrap up the fifth from here, then, guys. Anyway, then, I'm not going to do, I'm, I'm going to hopefully, going to hopefully skip out throughout the rest of the practice without filming, then without recording, then, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, then, so, well, we will come back, then, guys, well, I'll come back, then, I will now see the final results then of the practice session of the Czech Republic Grand Prix. So please do not go anywhere there guys. And please, whether you do, do not dislike this video, whether you do this guys. Please like it and subscribe for my channel. And leave a comment down below what you think this video as well. But anyway guys, I'll be, we'll, we'll see you at the end of the practice session then. So please enjoy the rest of this video please. Three practice has come to a close. And while the riders make their way back to the boxes. We'll take a look at the times for this weekend's first session. You mean garages, commentator? I mean, I say to that. Yeah, okay, suppose, surprisingly, because everyone's heading their way back to the pits then. So, at the end of the practice setup for the Czech Republic Grand Prix, it is me. I've gone quickest then with a time of 2 minutes 6.946. As I've gone quickest, then it's Miguel Fair in the KTM bike in second, the Portuguese was in second place, and it's Jorge and Avio in third. They get in fourth, then it's Fabio Cross in fifth, Isaac Finna is sixth. Nick Artele is 7, Anthony Fasquez 8, Elise Massabu 9, and then it's Calhoun Killer in Peter. So, quite a say, there's quite a big close difference there between the top 10 there, but less than 2 seconds there. But anyway, 
It's quite a good word there, but look at that. I'm quickest in this process of the of the chicken probably gonna be in Berno. So I'm hoping to look forward to getting another puppies and I'm hoping to make it a third consecutive Grand Prix when we get our first fourth Queer win the Moto 3 Championship so far. And there's no Elizabeth Dries or of slights of rain coming down then. Means we're all clear at the moment. I'm fine for the rest of the race weekend coming up then. Bear right, Dan. That is a good success that has achieved so much about this then. Uh, could I could just say though. Because Fabio Cordero had a bit of poor effort he had then in the, in the first three minutes of the season. I'm afraid he didn't pick up any, any time though. I'm afraid he had to serve fifth cricket at the moment. I'm afraid then. And I'm afraid his team in that view did better than he get that kid to move to face the P3 there, but good work for him for that. But anyway, then guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation for the Chevrolet Public Play. Please like, comment down below once you fit this video, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't just yet, then guys. And he helped me to finish it by made the Duke Sea Big Fun Forms and click that notification bell down below and join the James Gary channel for more exclusive content gameplay. You will see in the future, then, guys. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this pilot setup for the MoGP and um, free race. Then but we'll be back next time. Have a qualified for the Chevrolet Public Grand Prix qualified setup for Moto3. But apart from that, then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, then, guys. And until next time, then, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video, then, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Come on.